Bellino has been ruling the premium hatchback segment for the past three years. This is a revisit. First things first, the engines. As far as the diesel is concerned, it's the same 1.3 litre engine in the lower state of tune. The thing is, the engine is coupled with a fixed geometry turbo. So how does it perform? Well, to begin with, most of us have driven this engine. Therefore, we know how this engine behaves. There is lag between 2000 RPM. Uh, to get the punch, you need to accelerate past that RPM but the lag is well contained. Maruti has tuned the engine in such a way that it is quite manageable. Even for a person who drives this engine for the first time, he or she will get used to it pretty soon. Once you are in the turbo zone, then normal overtakes can be done without the need to downshift, but in that conditions which require sudden surge of torque, downshift is inevitable. Generally, Maruti cars are lighter and these engines fared well in the previous generations. Uh, so the newer platform is much more lighter and dynamic. Therefore, performance is decent. And there's no denying the fact that this diesel engine in particular produced the least torque in its segment. But the reduction in weight do make up for that cost. The petrol engine is again the same 1.2 liter engine. It's undeniably the best naturally aspirated engine in its segment and strikes a good balance between overall drivability and fuel economy. It's rev happy in nature. It never feels stressed even at higher revs. However, ECU cuts the power after 6300 RPM and even at that point, the engine is willing to rev more. That's the level of refinement this engine offers. So, and the petrol engine again, it's lighter than diesel engine. Therefore, the petrol Berlino feels more agile and responsive at low speeds. So if you don't travel much, then the petrol engine is just fine. You don't have to go for the diesel engine. At last, there's the Berlino RS, which features the booster jet engine. It is definitely quicker, has more vehicle suspension, all wheel disc brakes, and some minor cosmetic changes but it is more than a lakh pricier than the normal 1.2 litre top-end variant as most of the engine parts are imported. Usage of the same powertrain is fine as long as it does the job. In this case, these are tried and tested engines and hence they are reliable. My criticism is, Maruti Suzuki should also have launched RS in the diesel variant too. Let it be the same 1.3 liter engine, but at least in the higher state of tune. Since that engine is mass produced here and has better localization, this approach could have been more practical and economical. Let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. About the ride and handling. The Reno isn't as sporty as you would expect. Things are different here. The suspension is on the softer side and the car doesn't like to be pushed harder on corners and there is a fair amount of body lean and understeer. The steering feels much lighter and it isn't very communicative. So that connected feel or that fun to drive factor like the Swift is missing. Bellino is far from being sporty. For that sacrifice, you are rewarded with excellent ride quality. The car simply glides through bumps and potholes except for the sharper ones. The clutch is lighter, the gear shifts are smooth, that coupled with the lighter steering wheel ensures effortless drivability. Most drivers are going to appreciate this setup. For added convenience, Bellino Petrol is offered with CVT Automatic which makes city driving even more easier. The CVT doesn't have paddle shifters but do comes with a sports mode for better throttle response. Since here the CVT is mated to a smaller engine, the rubber band effect is much more pronounced, especially at demanding conditions. You have to be aware of this fact while opting for CVT and no cruise control function on offer. What I'm trying to say is 
Perino is designed to offer you more comfort and it's better to be driven in a relaxed way. That's the best way to experience the car. Well, speaking of the interiors, the quality of materials and the way it's put together is decent. There are no loose parts as such, but if you dig deeper, you can find some budget grade materials. People's perception about hatchbacks has evolved over time. They expect sedan-like experience in a hatchback. With plenty of features and space on offer, the Bellino delivers that experience. And it does everything in a good way. So far, this is the most practical and comfortable hatchback from Maruti's table. And that's our take on the Bellino. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.